Hey, welcome back, you Operator, too. Give me R and I. It's Baby Girl 91580 doing a Here LA now. Noir playthrough for the gameplay HQ. Belt, one, two, four, now we just got finished beating down Next. Jacob Henry. Any other messages? And one, we're detective. calling in to get From some Captain more Dolly. info. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. And after we do that, we're gonna take him in and got question him in. again. Now a lot of the cutscenes you guys are gonna be pretty much, you know, cut. You'll probably see like the first two or three seconds of it, but um I'll be cutting right out of it because we don't want any crap from take two or one? Rockstar or Fine. anybody. Where are we headed? It's an American trait. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he so when you get to the station, the, the captain is going to try to, um, you know, encourage you since this is like technically the your Galloway. first homicide investigation, I guess. I no so complexity. I'm going to cut know, that out, exactly but gonna we're going to get in there and we're going to interrogate him. And if you guys have LA Noir, leave comments and let us know how you um how you like the game. I love comments, so leave me as many as you want. Now we here's one of the scenes down. that I'm gonna cut question my judgment. when he's talking to the captain and he just basically tells you to get your butt in there and do your job. Doesn't look good, Jake. I for one good really care. think this guy was telling the truth. Like I don't think he knew anything. Stand. Yes. So we're going to start off you with the lipstick markings just to see how what he reacts. Does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason. And it's you, true. Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. So we're going to ask him next about the deterioration of his marriage. Face. You didn't go over there to her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. And that's a lie. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. And the neighbors' info about the marital Jenny problems. Morgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right. I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Now you're gonna ask him about the missing jewelry. Why did you break into your wife's house? <clears throat> Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? That was the her truth. prized garnet ring. Given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. What do you do for work, Jacob? 
a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is, you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. <clears throat> you stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator, famous in her day, <clears throat> flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. So we got four or four questions correct there. You failed me, son. We have another lead, So now Captain. we're going to go on Mendez this other lead. And so, it's the Mendez residence. Really so. um, you're going to travel to his apartment. And it's going to be a chase after you find evidence <laughs> some pretty incriminating evidence you'll find there we can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this mending guy you know the way we're gonna make drive. the trusty partner exactly drive this going. one saves on video time youtube and i hate driving with the ai it's like the traffic Alonzo is so Mendez. stupid on Sounds these like games. Sounds like a man who moonlights as the werewolf. Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole. You'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. So here we are at the apartment. He's in building. He's in um, Mendez, apartment. 2016. Well, you can look on here. I know the R and I people told you what it was, but you can look on those little panels and it tell you. Here, the sixteen is floor. you know. So you just follow this little chart. You know we're gonna have to fly up these steps. I'm getting tired just watching him run up them. <laughs> uh oh, we get the kick in the door. Now you can look around this apartment, but the only key evidence that pertains to your case is in this room right here. Eights could help place men make sure you look down look at this and zoom in that there they are size eight shoes which matches the, the crime scene and in this box you'll find the lipstick brothers could match the color and brand of the body and um, the socket wrench the actual murder weapon Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. 
the so murder after weapon. you better get paid back up out of the evidence and you, why not throw it away? Mm-hmm. pretty much geniuses? made up in your mind Maybe that you find the guy. Break, Captain Donald begin to like you. The guy walks what in LAPD, and you're, under arrest. you're gonna have to chase his Do not lose that son of a ass bitch. now. <laughs> Mendez, stop right there. I hate how slow he goes through the windows. It's like they can always just run so freaking fast, dude. Like, he's all the way across the street getting in a car, and I'm still, like, freaking running here. Your best bet when you're doing a tr- car chase is to stay on their butts. So after this sequence is over, road. it goes into a cutscene when you capture him. I got an idea. And I'm Get gonna just cut out call. to the end Keep of the case because there is no interrogation the at this point. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'll try to bust his tires. Oh my lord, I'm airborne. <laughs> and my, it's like my partner, man, is has no aim or what, I don't know what the, the hell. Henry. It's amazing he even lived through the car flipping. <laughs> okay, you two, so I'm gonna cut this video off now. You guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one.